mean, if you're not playing to your potential and you're, you know, placing third, that's, that's a pretty good sign. Like, if we show up on a weekend and do it, we're, like, be the Atlanta pays everyone knows, like, we're going to win. Uh, when we first got to Raleigh, I mean, I knew the city wasn't going to be like obviously like a massive city like New York or like Atlanta or anything like that. I knew it was going to be going to be kind of like low key. I wasn't expecting it to be. I liked the city honestly. It wasn't. It was pretty. It was a pretty cool city. Um, the only thing that I, I honestly didn't really like was how cold it felt. I don't know what it is about the air in Raleigh, but it feels. It could be the same temperature in Atlanta and the same temperature in Raleigh, and in Raleigh it feels like it's like 10 degrees colder. Let's see how was the flight, man. It was good. I did not do it all. I always keep the place, man. No stories? That's crazy. That's my gimmick, man. I always keep the place, no matter what. Nice chain, man. Thanks, man. You look so cool. Thanks, man. Very cool. MC's like, he, MC tells me, he's like, yo, dress up because we're going to team dinner. And I'm like, what are you wearing? And he's like, so hard hoodie. And I said, well, what are you wearing for, like, pants? And he's like, oh, joggers. I'm like, bro, that's dressing up? Yes. <laughs> I'm sure you got pajamas on. I don't have jeans, bro. I need to go shopping. Yeah, our Wednesday uh, started off and we had a lot of things to, like, to do for the league. We had to do IT check, like to set up on stage, to like see, uh, to get everything like set up the, for the matches and stuff like that. And then we also had to do content, headshots, things like that. So it was a long day. I had to wake up, I think I woke up at like 9 a.m. or like 8.30 because I want to go to the gym first before I went to content and like do all that stuff. So it was a super long day. But then we had scrims after all that. Our first scrim didn't go the best. Um, I feel like usually that's kind of what happens with us. So we kind of like have to get into the mode a little bit after, especially after having a day off because we have a travel day on Tuesday. So that Wednesday, like we had that first scrim, it was like, eh, it wasn't the best scrim, but it was kind of us just getting back into the groove of things. And then the second scrim, we played amazing. Like we were playing very good Call of Duty, um, which, which felt really good. And then, uh, so like that made me happy. And I feel like that made the whole team happy going into Thursday where we had our first matches. The first couple of days, I thought the event was like, sick setup like it was like old school kind of like in the convention center um we had a bunch of am teams like the open bracket stage uh there's a cod mobile event going on the flank was there in person it's working huh okay. <laughs> it's working huh yeah it's working actually that's working <laughs> in the face no not in the face He's fucking pussy, bro. He's a pussy, bro. Oh. He's a pussy. Going to the tournament this weekend, uh, we thought that, like we thought we were going into it as probably the best team there. The only thing that was maybe looking shaky was um, control at times, but in scrims, like the week before, like we were getting way better, like all the situations that we wanted to get better at. So we, I mean, we got matched up against LG Academy. I think uh, that was one of the teams that we do know a little bit about because we have scrimmed them, especially in SND and stuff. Uh, and I feel like they're by far the best AM team. And I feel like there's a misconception, especially in the beginning of the years with AM teams. I almost think they're sometimes ahead of how to play the game because they have so many tournament reps. Like they're playing 2Ks every weekend. And um, like a lot of people like give, you know, challengers shit and stuff like that, which they do have their flaws, but the fact that they're able to get a lot of tournament S and D reps and even hardpoint control so consistently, I feel like gives them not an edge versus us, but like it, it kind of like evens the playing field in a way I would say. So I definitely knew going in like we couldn't take them lightly. I, I knew they were like a good team, um, probably even better than some pro teams right now. So uh, yeah, I just felt like we had to just come out and play our game. Like the vetoes are tough against them, but as long as we do what we're supposed to do, we should beat them. Going into the match against Seattle, I mean, we knew that our hard point definitely needed to look, be a look, like look a lot better, especially from the LAG Academy match because it looked so iffy because we knew Seattle was a very good hard point team. And uh, so we knew that going to that match, we needed to be on top of our game when it came to hard point again. And, you know, we ended up pulling out like a grueler hard point win, which is like a 10 point game. And it still didn't look the best, but we ended up getting the win on that. And as soon as we got the win on that, our s &D, like I said, our s &D is just looking so good. Like we won, a, we won the next s &D, and then the control, we actually looked really good in the control too. So like that series, like we kind of like breezed through that series and uh, it was a pretty clean series out of us besides like, I feel like a few mishaps in the, in the car point, but the control and SD looked very good in that series.
Yo, I'm not getting, I'm not getting next time. You catch my finger, slap it. Um, the Embassy Hardpoint that we played versus uh, versus the Vegas Legion. Um, you know, we're playing the map. I think I think we had a 220 to 170 lead, something like that, around that area. Like obviously, like Vegas could have, like they could end up breaking the catch no, but I would say like we were probably going to win the map like 100. Uh, percent The map, I, one of them ended up getting scanned, and then they the refs told us it was a replay for some reason that I don't know. I ended up playing poorly the next, whenever we went to the replay, I ended up playing very poorly. And like, um, we ended up losing, I think, I forgot what the score was, but we just ended up losing that map, which was tough because we really thought we were gonna win the first one whenever, before the replay happened. And then um, it kind of like pissed me off after that happened because then Clay ended up standing up yelling at MC and I'm like sitting there, I'm like, dude, like there's no way he, he got hyped about that whenever realistically, we were probably gonna win the first map before it ended up going to a replay. So I was like, bro, nah, there's no shot he did that. And then, so I got pissed off and like the next like three maps, I feel like I was on takeover mode. Like I was slamming, like I was bodying them. I don't know, there was, there's rules online that say like once it's over a certain score, you don't replay and then we're getting told that we are replaying and I don't know, nothing made any sense to us. Uh, we ended up losing the replay, which like as a player, like obviously like you try to check yourself back in, but like, when you feel like you've already won the map, it's just, what do you call it? Especially when you're in like the first round of bracket play, like you're trying to obviously win the tournament, like you're just, you know, it's, it's kind of crushing in a way. The first map was a little too gays in my opinion. Uh, they really got to look into their replay rules. It's kind of unacceptable, but uh, yeah, we bounced back in the game too. I think Tyler and someone else had like a crazy SMB map. So they were able to get us through that. And then once we tied it up 1-1, one, one, I knew we were going to win the next two response. And, and we did that, so. But if BG cannot be really stopped on the we do that map. Every fucking time that we lag out or someone lagging across the map, we've never got a fucking replay. Oh, yeah, bro. Listen. But if it's us, all the fucking 30 times, times that, to get a fucking well, the replay. The thing that got me pissed off is the fact that Clay got yelled at the fucking yeah. ass back. Yeah. Because I'm like, bro, like, you literally just lost the fucking nah. first match. We fucking, we fucking lag out a whole round versus Gavin 2 versus Optic. Oh, it's fucking Optic. Can't play that again. <laughs> no, fucking no. absolutely so fucking good. Cool. So versus the match against Vegas, uh, I think it was kind of it's kind of dumb that first time we had a replay, but obviously the second the second replay, obviously our team didn't play as well as we did the first time. So I think we got to clean up some stuff in that in that hard point for sure. Um, second third second third map, uh, it was actually pretty clean. I feel like uh, even though it went like five five on the search, I feel like some of the rounds we lost are like like really fixable, and it was kind of like it was it was in our favor most of the time, you know. So, and then I feel like the last hard point, I feel like we were rotating, we out, out rotating a lot. I, th I just think we were getting broke uh, like, like right away, uh, very fast. So I think that's what happened uh, in that match. So it was, I mean, it was three one, but it was, it was pretty clean overall. Yo. Nice. <laughs> going into the Toronto match, being back on Maine, it was a good feeling because we knew that it was going to be a really good match between us because we felt like Toronto was a very solid team so far this year. We ended up playing very well that match. All right, Riley, y'all ready to get the second series underway? Oh, it's about to be a good one. So going into the Toronto match, I think everyone thought that was going to be like kind of like a finals matchup. Uh, they were looking like one of the best teams. I feel like we were all expecting that to be the best team we're going to play that weekend. And we showed up and played like we were playing against the best team. I feel like that was one of the cleanest series we had that whole weekend. Um, and I, I don't even think, I mean, it was kind of close, I guess, but not really. Like it should have been a 3-0, like we took a 2-0 lead in the control. Um, but we're able to bounce back in the game for Hydro, which everyone thought we were bad at. Clearly, we're not. So. Uh, Last hit, Ultra. Scrappy through the front. Looking for anyone through the side doors. It is a water tight defense on Hydro. Business as usual for FaZe. 
Um, yeah, I feel like overall we're playing really good. And I thought after that series, to be honest, that we were gonna, like that's the type of series you win and you, you're like, okay, we're gonna win the event now. So we're all feeling really good after it. Because yeah. like we were letting them spawn close every time. Cause like we kept giving it up. That actually like, so weird. Well, that, dude, when you guys can't beat both times, I was like, that's the plan and I like it, but it's like such unfamiliar, ter unfamiliar territory of like how we want to cap A because we don't get that situation that much. Nah, I agree. So it was I agree a little weird. Our group in kitchen, it's just like... Yeah. Bro, it was just something that you guys would you yeah, not, not familiar with. It's like, yeah. yeah. That's why I wasn't even like... I was mad that we lost the map, but I wasn't like mad at you guys. It's like, damn. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't think we played the map bad either. No, you didn't. <laughs> Sunday we thought with how we were playing like there's no team that's gonna come close to us uh, we showed up we showed up Sunday I think we played a few maps in the back uh, we were still looking still looking good in hard point that day and then when the like at like like the first match happened that day and there was a bunch of situations that we were just that we were just playing weird to be honest Atlanta phase in the hill here comes the challenge for Fred and accuracy it's Fred able to take him down uh, BDC though gets him out of the hard point for now, goes to Chow, but deep in the trunk, it's accuracy and he wins a big one. Able to take Sip out of it, five points to go. Surge back in, Sally and Blind forward, stun going to hit, can't get there in time, and Surge. Like, and then we went to the second series, and I, I don't know, I, got, I mean, honestly, just like the same thing happened. Like, we just we just were not playing like ourselves, like, at all, like, in the slightest. 5v5, trying to do what he can, Matt through with the big play at the end. That'll be three in a row. No respawn for either side. Accuracy with a big win. Under 10 to go. Off to the races of the two remaining players. Good luck. Not sure you got the time to do it. Gonna get caught. Gonna get dropped. Surge with the control win. In the Seattle match, we were just not looking good in respawn at all. It was it was honestly just horrendous. Like you could even just tell like our teamwork, our everything was just bad. Like it just wasn't there um, in the response and we ended up somehow pulling off a crazy comeback map four, which I feel like shouldn't even have been possible anyway. Yeah, those but. comps were absolutely terrific, and you see the gunny talent comps on full display from Surge. But how did Faze sound? They've been getting bodied. They gotta try to bring it back to a listen to we go with Atlanta Faze. I think some things that I was saying um, when we were down a lot is just trying to like get us to like slow the game down and focus on just getting our kills. In a sense, like break us out of the bad, like you're almost in a cycle when you're down that much and you're just in the you're in the point where you think you need to play faster. It's like, oh, I need to get him off the hill right now. I can't let him get this 10 seconds. Like, but sometimes that ends up working out worse for you. Um, so like remembering like to just slow it down, get the next hill, get the 60 on the board, get your kills. Everyone fighting for map control. Sip again. Oh, That's a win. Sip with a win it for the MVP. That is a massive win from Cell. Knocked out a nine HP, but able to take it into the point, the battle. Abizi gets the help, trying to back up the trucks. I don't know the hit fire bullet hit or what sort of witchcraft that was. Down 130 and still alive. Rotation phase. A chance to win this one as well. It's made dead. it here though. All oh, dead. All dead. Into the point go phase. The trophy's gonna fall, but they'll clear the trophy on their own. 220. But is it going last to be enough? Player, last Again, player. still here. There's the kill. Accuracy's the last one. He's got to go. Easy. Get it. Oh, my God. Okay, we went game five, and I think that was the only SD we lost all weekend. Um, but you can't always win every single SD. And, like, we know that. And, like, I'm sure everyone else knows that. Like, winning SD is, like, you can win them, like, you can win majority of them consistently, but you can't always win all of them. And basically, we ended up just falling short in the game five. I 
I also think on our P4s, we just need to start stacking people. I don't give a fuck about top office. Like, if you, like, if we have, like, three people in building, yeah, go top office. But, like, we actually need to be putting heads in P4. Because... I don't think we top trying to break. No, I'm saying when we're holding, like, say when we're, like, holding. Yeah, I feel like we gotta stop just sitting top office and actually just stack the hill because people are literally spawning up and running straight into the hill and just sitting in there and we can't even break them because they're gonna they have like four people in the hill or three people in the hill. I think in the New York series, like, I'm telling you, our respawns just on Sunday were abysmal. Like, there was just nothing, there was like no other way to explain it. Our respawns were just not there. Like, it was like so annoying too because I'm telling you, like, the whole weekend scrims, Aside from the first scrim on Wednesday that we had, like going leading into the, like the tournament, our scrims like we were playing a really good COD in response. The Atlanta phase are nowhere close. Only three members, but they're eager to make their way to the bar. Go. A few more points left for New York. Can they close out this hard point? They still tried and true. Two more players still around the OBJ, and they break in just at the perfect time. But Sky, who's been holding on to this streak very patiently so far throughout this hard point, it could come into good use as we'll begin to watch it fly in. Can it find anything? All we need is three seconds. Look at the route that Kisman is going to hit. He's going to make his way into a top bedroom. The pitch is going to be here. He opens it up with the first kill. Hydra with the second. They can still win it off at this time, but Atlanta Pays, they're holding strong. Now you're going to force New York to try to rotate, but they can win it. Hydra has got one more to contest with. Can it be three? Can it be three? Oh, Zellium! Got to stay locking it down. One more point, and there you go. This is like a P2 on Hotel is so huge. It should be like a guaranteed 40, 50 seconds almost. Um, and it, it was a pretty close map, I feel like. And if those situations go our way, we could be up 1-0. And we obviously won the s and Our s and was, you know, lights out. We were up like 5-1 versus him. They ended up getting close towards the end, but for the most part, like, it was a smooth map. They've got one sold out. Sip, he's got to escape. Oh, oh, oh. Sip with the fight. Sip takes down two. Map, he's already rotated out. Fortunately, Kismet is now going to get picked off, and Sip is working on the ace. Find three on the round, all left up to Skies in the 1v3. Only 20 seconds left, and Slasher closes it out for Atlanta Faze. And then the games three and four, I feel like, like I said earlier, we just had an off day. Me, especially in those two maps, um, I played pretty poor, so. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. They were just a better team that day. We weren't playing, like, ourselves, and ended up costing us. Seconds left, Atlanta phase, they have to go. They gotta rush in, they gotta do something. Time continues to tick away. Simp, Five he's two. gotta jump through. Gotta so, go. Trying to make the pick. Atlanta will break in for a moment, but they're only one second away. Atlanta, find clear it. the board. Atlanta phase, they get the break. Now you need to hold this down. This has to be perfect hard point from here on out. You cannot allow New York to get one second. He's just gonna play this patient. You have one player in the BZ who's just trying to make sure he wins that rotation battle. Could Will it be Priesta? Could it be Priesta to make the play? It's been all about him all tournament long. It can come down to a 1v1. Oh! Priesta! Caught it, like, at this point, like in this league, like is it, like I said, it's any given day sometimes, especially if you're not on top of your game. And like I just think we were not on top of our game on Sunday, and I, that is why we fell short in all the respawns. And we just our teamwork just weren't just wasn't there. Overall, like it was a pretty good weekend. Like I think we didn't play to our potential, and we still walked away with a third, and we're one map away from being in the grand finals. Which who knows who ha what happens in the best of seven. So, I mean, if you're not playing to your potential and you're, you know, placing third, that, that's a pretty good sign. Like, if we show up on a weekend and do work, like, be the Atlanta pays everyone knows, like, we're going to win. So, i say I'm pretty happy about that. Obviously, I would have loved to win this one, but looking at the bright side, like, that's a good takeaway. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I think if we just keep on doing what we're doing and just ironing out the small things that we're messing up on right now, like, we'll end up having, like, a really good year. When all said and done.